Good morning, morning Pats. Pats. I'm Julia. And I'm Kaylee. And, and welcome, welcome back, back to the Patriot, Patriot Press. <laughs> Here are some of our announcements to keep you informed this week. Underclassmen, don't forget that picture day is coming up on October 2nd. Seniors interested in pursuing college, there is a college fair coming up September 16th and 17th, so go check it out. If you are needing any extra help in any of your classes, make sure you check out Mann's After School Tutoring Program on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 4 to 5 in the B Building. And last but not least, Pats, if you are in an EOC class this semester, you can be entered to win some great prizes from TVs to gift cards, depending on the grade you get on the final exam. So good luck. Now let's check out our next segment, More to Man, with Samaj Jay and Kaya. Hey, what you do that for? That was for the color run. What's that? I don't know, but we can go ask some of the key club members about it. Okay, let's go see. Who am I here with today? Miss Hines. And when and where is the color run? The color run is actually going to be right here at JL Man at the track on September 21st at 9 a.m. Here with Miss Atkins. You. And what's the purpose of the color run for this year? Our color run is giving our key club members the opportunity to earn service hours, but also helping Spirit Week raise money for the Emerson Rose Heart Foundation. Okay, thank you so Don't much. Don't forget to come out and participate in this year's color run. Now back to the studio. Wow, that was some great information. I know I can't wait for the color run. Yeah, it sounds really cool. Now, why don't we check out our recaps in fall sports next? Yeah, let's take it over and check out Blue and White. Hi, Paz. Juju and I are here to update y'all on everything you need to know about our fall sports and man. Come with us to highlight our amazing teams and talk to our girls' golf coach on how their season's going. I'm here with Coach Hawthorne. And how do you prepare mentally for a golf match? Uh, simply that, you know, you got to be focused on what you're going to be doing and you can't be distracted. That's, that's the key thing. All distractions got to be removed. And what's different about coaching girls golf versus girls basketball? Well, really, there's not a whole lot of difference as it relates to preparation. But again, you know, we're not on a running clock. Uh, we're playing uh, against a course. So it's like individual shots versus individual shots. And then you got holes. So again, just having to quick forget. You got to be, be able to forget quickly. And what's your favorite part about being a coach? Seeing uh, players become successful, especially in, in, in all sports. But golf, you know, when you have a young player uh, who uh, struggles to begin with and then see them uh, achieve some level of success. And would you say golf is more of an individual sport or a team sport? It's both. You can have a team score because we uh, count the top lower four scores. And then individually, you want to be medalist in that match so you can qualify as an individual in some of the tournaments we play in. We hope you guys enjoyed our segment this week. Thank you for the incredible interview, Coach Hawthorne. Make sure if you have any questions about when and where the winter sports conditioning is, contact Coach Wakefield. See, See you next week! week. That was very informative. Yeah, that has some really good information. Why don't we check out what you did with Jaden for Man on the Street? Hello, Hello Patriots. Patriots. I'm Kaylee. And I'm Jaden. Back with more Man on the Street. I know nobody asks, but my unpopular opinion is that mustard is better than ketchup. No. Hey, Jaden, what's your unpopular opinion? Guys to say that water is better than any drink there is all across the board. Wow. Let's go around and ask our fellow Patriots what their unpopular opinion is. I'm here with... Brody Canada. Tim Brenya. And what are y'all's unpopular opinions? Uh, pineapple belongs on pizza. Stranger Things is trash. Okay, thank you. Today I'm here with... Lily. And today's question is, what is your unpopular opinion? I'm better than Ice Spy. Okay, thank you. Today I'm here with... Analia. And today's question is, what is your personal unpopular opinion? I think orange juice is better than apple juice. Uh, I can't agree, but thank you. <laughs> I'm here with Mally. And the question for today is, what is your unpopular opinion? Um, I think that grape is actually good and it doesn't taste like medicine. Thank you. Today I'm here with Kari. 
And today's question is, what is an unpo- your unpopular opinion? Right, wait a minute. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I'm here with Amelia. And what's your unpopular opinion? Uh, cheese pizza is better than pepperoni. Okay, thank you. Jaden, how do you feel about sausage pizza? I totally agree with that one. Yeah, honestly, me too. Well, anyways, Pats, we hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Bye, Pats. Wow, you guys did great with that and had a very interesting question. Did you know that we are voting for our next presidential election in less than two months? I actually didn't know that, but let's go to Aiden and Tracy for some more information. Hey Patriots, I'm Aiden Campbell from the Patriot Press, and it's about that time where everybody's getting ready to vote. And I don't really know much about voting, so I thought I might as well go and ask Mr. LaFay about it. All right, I'm Aiden from the Patriot Press, and I'm here with Mr. LaFay. And Mr. LaFay, why is voting important? Voting is a way that you are able to make your voice heard as a citizen. You get to choose people for elective office, um, both at the national and the state and the local levels. All right, and um, who are we voting for? Well, the big election is for President of the United States this year, but there's also elections for U.S. Congress and a lot of local offices, too, that are really important. And do you know any way that somebody who hasn't voted before can register to vote? Uh, First, if you're going to be 18 on Election Day, which is November 5th, you can register to vote. And there's a lot of ways to do that. Um, The South Carolina Election Commission allows you to um, register to vote online, and you can do that through October 5th. Um, You can vote at the county election office, um, register to vote at the county election office, or uh, probably the easiest way is on um, the League of Women Voters on September 12th, we'll be having a voter registration drive here at JL Mann. So if you're going to be 18 on election day, uh, you can, um, they'll be there at all lunches, uh, getting your registration forms and getting you ready to vote in November. All right. Thank you so much. Additional information for patriots who are interested in voting in this upcoming election. Students who will be 18 by November 5th this year will be able to register to vote in the upcoming election. You can register online using one of two sites, uh, Vote411, and the other site is scvotes.gov. Make sure to register before the 6th. Hey, thank you so much for the interview, Mr. LaFay. If you are able to vote, please go and do that. What you say matters. And back to the studio. Wow, that was good information. Thanks, guys. Now to close up, let's check out this heartfelt message from Dee to remember the lives that were lost on this tragic day. On this day, more than 2,000 Americans lost their lives, and more than 2,000 families were torn apart. From the law enforcement all the way to the teachers who had to explain to their students the gravity of the situation and the devastating state of our nation. Today, I'm going to ask some of our staff where they were when 9-11 hit. I'm Ms. Washington, I'm one of the assistant principals here, and 9-11, I actually was a senior in high school, and I was a classroom aide, a teacher's aide, and I remember it showing on the TV screens, and initially I thought it was a video game or a movie that was going on when I saw the first plane, and then when the second plane hit, I was like, I think this is for real, this isn't a movie um, or a video game, and then the news started happening, and I remember the entire day at school since it happened in the morning. All the TVs went on, teachers canceled classes pretty much, and all day we all just watched the news and like called home and called family. I'm Mr. Bell, and I'd like to share with you my experience on September 11th, 2001. It was my first teaching job here at Man. I was going out to the hallway between first and second period, and I heard a student say the following, planes have just hit the towers. My first reaction was this, girl quit lying and go to class. Unfortunately, what she said was true. My next door neighbor, the teacher right next to me came over and said, turn your TV on. So I went back into my classroom and turned my TV on. The first thing I saw was just flames and smoke billowing from the Twin Towers. Slowly my class started coming in and I don't recall us really doing anything else for the rest of the day. All we basically did was watch the towers burn and we watched one fall and watch the other one fall. Hello, I'm Coach Sartain. I, during 9-11, I was actually the athletic director at Southside High School. Miss Hill, I'm the school librarian on September 11th. It was my third year teaching U.S. history. I was in the classroom when the Twin Towers were hit. 
Moments like this show how resilient our nation is. Thank you so much to our teachers and staff for sharing your stories. And let's make sure days like this are never forgotten. Wow, that was a great message. Thanks, Dee. Thanks for tuning in, and make sure to follow us on all social media platforms at thepatriot.press. Go, Go Pats! Pats.